Here's three ways that you can use a multi-effect pedal. So instead of sounding like this, you can sound like this. Let's get into it. The first way to use your multi-effect pedal is to use it as a standalone unit without an actual guitar amp. This is called running direct. And the basic idea is that your guitar plugs into your multi-effect unit, you create an entire virtual signal chain with an amp model and other effects, and then you just plug the multi-effect into some sort of powered speaker. There's two main things that we need to look out for when we're running direct. The first thing is that because we're not using an actual guitar amp, we need to make sure that we're using an amp model on our multi-effect. Otherwise, our guitar tone is gonna sound really fizzy and harsh and just weird. Listen to this example. Here's my guitar with an amp model. And here it is without an amp model. You hear how fizzy and harsh it sounds? So as you're building your preset, make sure that your amp model is enabled. The second really important thing is that we need to make sure that we're using the right outputs and the right output settings for running direct. Now this is gonna vary from device to device, so you may need to check out your user manual to see exactly what you need to do. For example, whenever I perform live with my Line 6 Pod HD 500X, I like to play in stereo, so I'll just connect two XLRs that run straight to front of house, and that always sounds great. There's also an option in the settings to select running direct or running to an amp. This has a big impact on the guitar tone and how the amp models actually function. If you're using a device that only has quarter inch outputs, you may need to use a DI box when you're running to a mixer or a PA, but some newer devices have balanced quarter inch outputs and you don't need a DI box. So just be sure to refer to your manual and see what you actually need. The second way to use a multi-effect unit is to use it with a guitar amp. The way this works, your guitar plugs into your multi-effect and your multi-effect plugs into the input of your guitar amp and you use your multi-effect just for effects as if it was an actual pedal board. Now the big thing when you're playing with an amp is that you don't want to use an amp model. People debate this all the time, but the thing is, there's so much processing happening to your guitar signal when it passes through an amp model, like compression, EQ, gain, and when you take that process signal that sounds really good on its own, and then you run it through an actual guitar amp, it has a lot of that processing happening all over again, and so it's like double process. Here's an example of playing through an amp without an amp model, and here's how it sounds when you turn on the amp model. Hear how it just doesn't sound natural anymore? So just make sure that your amp and cabinet models are disabled and that you're using the right outputs and output settings for playing with an amp. So this is one of the most straightforward ways to use a multi-effect. The problem though, is that all of our effects are running into the front of an amp, meaning that things like delay and reverb are all having preamp gain applied to them. And so it's like, is there a way that we could somehow have some of our effects running into the front of an amp and then some of our effects running into the effects loop of an amp? Well, if your multi-effect unit has an effects loop and if your guitar amp has an effects loop, then yeah, you can. And this brings us to the third way that we can use a multi-effect pedal, which is the four cable method. The four cable method is a lot more advanced to set up, but I definitely think that the benefits are worth it. So here's how it works. Your guitar plugs into your multi-effect. The effects loop send from your multi-effect plugs into the input of your guitar amp. The effects loop send from the guitar amp plugs into the effects loop return of the multi-effect. And then the final quarter inch output from your multi-effect plugs into the effects loop return of the guitar amp. So your guitar signal is gonna run through your signal chain until the point of the effects loop send, where it's gonna pass through just the preamp of your guitar amp before coming back and finishing off the remainder of the signal chain before going back to the amp again where it's played through the guitar speaker. So now any effects that are placed before the effects loop send and our multi-effect are gonna run into the front of the amp and then any effects that are placed after the effects loop return on our multi-effect are gonna be run after the preamp. So essentially where the effects loop would be on the guitar amp. So if you're gonna be playing through a single amp in mono, I definitely recommend using the four cable method. The other thing that absolutely blows my mind about the four cable method is that it essentially captures the preamp of your guitar amp. And so on my 500X, the effects loop acts as an effect block just like any other. So I can move it around in the signal chain. I can even assign it to a foot switch so I can bypass it. So I can literally bypass the preamp amp of my amp and then I can activate a preamp amp model on my pedal board assign that to the same foot switch so now when I click that foot switch either the amps preamp or the preamp model are going to be activated at one time giving me two different preamps that I can choose from so how cool is that so guys let me know in the comments below how you like to use your multi-effect pedal if you want more information on how to set up the four cable method check out this video up here and I'll see you guys in that next video later